Hey, this is Brian with Radical Prep. We're doing problems for the new SAT, the one that's coming out in March. Uh, this is a question from the Passport to Advanced Mathematics section, and we're gonna take a look at it. It says the function f is defined by f of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus cx plus 8, where c is a constant. In the xy plane, the graph of f intersects the x-axis at the three points, and it gives the three points right here. What is the value of c? Okay. Well, there's a really simple way to do this, and all you got to know is that, uh, and I hope you know this, that this is the x value, and this is the y value. So if we plug in an x, we should get a y value. This is just plug and chug. So uh, I guess we can check out and see what happens when we plug in the x of negative 4. So f of negative 4, and that's all it's saying is when we plug in negative 4, we should get 0. Okay? So 2 times negative 4 cubed plus 3 times negative 4 squared plus c times negative 4 plus 8. And remember this whole thing has got to be equal to 0, right? f of f of whatever just means that's the y value, which is 0 here. Okay, so 4 cubed is 64, right? So that's going to be 2 times negative 64. Um, this is going to be 3 times 16, that's going to be minus 4c, and that's going to be 8. Okay, so what does 64 times do? 128, so negative 128, that's going to be plus 48, uh, minus 4c, plus 8, again still equal to 0, and I'll just use a calculator to speed this up, um, minus uh, negative 128. How do I do negative on my calculator? I don't even know. Negative 128 plus 48 plus 8 equals negative 72. So negative 72 minus 4c still equals 0. And we'll just move the 4c over. Move the 4c over. So we get 4c equals negative 72. Sorry, I'm running out of space here, but I'm going to actually, let me do it over here. Um, 4C equals negative 72. Divide both sides by 4, and we should get C. Negative 72, negative 72, divided by 4, and we get negative 18. Cool. Got nervous there for a second. Didn't see that answer. Negative 18, choice A. So this is a passports to advanced math. All you got to do is know that this is the x value, this is the y value, and when you plug in this x, where all the x values are, you gotta get zero. So that's all you're doing. All right, I hope that helped. Um, stay with me, I'm gonna help you prepare for the new SAT. Take care.